guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Solo Laura, going to an estate sale by myself today. Janine stood back. I wasn't going to go to this estate sale initially, but then I saw this. Do you guys see it in the listing? It's a Halloween popcorn. And if you guys are new to the channel, I'll let you in on a little secret. Well, maybe it's not a secret. Janine and I, like, we are big time collectors of vintage Halloween, vintage Christmas, anything retro and kitschy from, like, the last hundred years plus. I mean, like, 19... 40s to 1990s so um yeah once I saw that popcorn I was like I gotta go to this so I hopped in the car went by myself and um we're outside now now it has started like 20 minutes ago so I'm not sure like what's gonna be left if anything um but it looks like a digger sale which is something that Janine and I really like to look for in sales um in our area there are these sales coin digger sale or hoarders which I don't like calling them hoarder sales but digger sales where everything in the house is left as it as is um, and you are encouraged and supposed to by the estate sale company holding the uh, sale to just dig dig through the contents of the home as is um, and in some of these types of sales we found our most amazing scores because you're literally unearthing like decades sometimes um, years of people's belongings and, th and things that they loved. We love these sales because we find the best things, usually for the best price because we're able to make a big pile and just, you know, agree upon a price with the company, um, but also because we're able to save, like, things that have been cherished for years and have been forgotten, you know, like, left behind, and pass them along to viewers like you guys, um, you know, on whatnot, or keep in our own collection. So we think it's a great thing overall. We're saving things from the landfill. We're having a fun time. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking. I'm excited about this sale. Let's head in and see what we can find. I started in this main room. There was a Halloween vacuum form flat back, but I left that behind. It's pretty big and we don't have the proper storage for it. But yeah, I spent about 40 minutes to an hour here digging through all those boxes you just saw. I was curious what people were here for when the sale first started, um, but I made my way over and grabbed that popcorn. It was on the top of the cabinet and then I started pulling boxes down. Um, and I started finding Halloween, so I'm getting very excited at this point. In hindsight, I should have looked at these terracotta pieces. I don't know if they even had jack-o'-lantern faces, but after the sale, I did some searching on some things I came across, and it, they might have been these pieces, these Huel terracotta jack-o'-lantern faces, so that might have been a missed opportunity, but I think the other things I found made up for that potential miss. I did, though, come across some really fun pieces in this box. Um, I was checking all the bags and came across this Hager planter. I didn't even realize at the time, guys. I just thought it had a really cool face. I put it aside, did pick it up, and continued searching through these bags. A lot of it was like 90s ceramics, um, which are collectible but not a ton of value. I left that one behind because I think it was broken. I also came across a lot of Halloween candles from the 90s and 80s. Not very collectible. You want to look out for girly candles from the 60s. I came across a second box of Halloween and at the top were these parachute material stuffed animals from the 90s. Janine and I love these so I was very excited to see these and I put them in my bag which I have next to me and I came across some more you know 80s and 90s Halloween. These really cute ceramics went into the bag. I know I'm moving a little fast here but at this point I was excited and there are more people coming into the sale um, and I came across some Sonic Ghosts and a Witch Windsock. These are so fantastic. They're getting harder and harder to find, so I was really excited to see them. This really interesting mask, I wish I had picked it up, but I really wasn't sure the price at this point for this company that was running the sale, but this is definitely a vintage mask. I don't know if it has any value in it. I did look it up at the sale, couldn't find too much information, so I left it behind. At this point, I'm coming across Christmas. I'm pulling down all these boxes here and just looking through them. Um, considering I found vintage Halloween, I was hopeful I'd find Christmas. Um, but these boxes were newer, but I had hope. As I opened this box, I was so shocked to see the Spaghetti Santa Planter. This is a vintage mid-century piece, pretty collectible. It's something I personally collect, and I was really excited to find it within all this newer Christmas. And that was what was sort of interesting about this sale. A lot of the belongings here were newer within the past I'd say maybe 25 years or so. So a lot of stuff from the early 2000s, maybe, you know, late 90s as well. Um, but it was really fun because there were hidden gems within all this stuff. So I looked through all these boxes. I didn't capture it all on camera, but I looked through every single one. 
at this point I know the woman who lived in this home loved her holiday. I made my way into the garage, saw this vintage looking ornament box and started pulling things down from this rafter in the garage. It was a lot of work. Um, I was hopeful about this box but as I was digging through it, it looked to be mainly 90s ornaments which, you know, aren't as collectible as what we typically look out for. Ornaments from the 50s through to the 70s but there is definitely a market for everyone when it comes to Christmas. So while I did not pick these up, I'm sure there are a lot of people out there who would have. Um, but I was checking all the little wrapped pieces because like based on what I just found in that other box, I was, you know, going to double check everything to make sure there wasn't a 1950s piece wrapped up and just stowed away with newer stuff. Uh, so I checked most of these boxes. I lifted the flap to see what was under and there were some more ornaments which looked to be newer. You could just tell by the caps right off the bat that they were from the 80s and 90s. This definitely would have been a great pickup for somebody who, you know, likes 90s ornaments or maybe is even a crafter. There's a lot of little doodads here that I thought were really cute, like this angel. Um, and I made sure to check the other side of the box just in case, but it was more newer ornaments. And I continued to pull down boxes from this loft in the garage. Um, by myself. Um, so I didn't get to film as I was pulling down. I guess I could have set up the camera, but um, I really just dug through it. A lot of it, again, was newer, but I made sure to um, show you guys if I come across anything older or vintage. I did check most of these boxes. Um, I spotted a Bronner's Christmas box at the bottom, which is like a really amazing store in the Midwest. It's like a cr giant Christmas store. Um, but in this one box, I did find this little mouse. How cute and he did have a pal and he ended up in the bag too. There was so much clothing at this sale. If you guys would like us to show more of the clothing we see at estate sales, let us know. It's not something we shop to resell. If anything, I'm picking up like a piece for myself. Um, but there was like a lot of like really nice L.L. Bean uh, button downs and flannels and just really nice clothing at this sale that I took a look at. And I eventually found myself digging in a closet because I found some vintage shoe boxes and baby shoes, which is really cool. And I always look at like vintage looking uh, shoe boxes because I find that people tend to store things in shoe boxes. Sometimes you come across, you know, some vintage goodies in a shoe box that's not actually a shoe. So that's fun. But I didn't find anything like that in these just shoes. And I took a look at this little cabinet filled with cards and towels. Um, you know, there was just stuff hidden away everywhere. And one thing that we always advise if you're going to an estate sale is to look everywhere because at a digger sale like this, you never quite know where something could have been kept over the years. It might just be hidden away in a closet. The last place I looked was this little curio cabinet. There honestly wasn't too much, but the Halloween did catch my eye. And this witch in particular, I was so excited to find. Can't wait to show Janine. You guys will have to see why in a second, but just some doodads here. Nothing else that I picked up and I headed out of the sale. Okay guys, we are out. Um, don't mind my appearance. Um, let me take this mask off. My, it was, oh my gosh, so dusty. I was constantly sneezing. I was very allergic to a lot of things in there. Okay. Um, whew, I was um, very much afraid of the- I was very much afraid of what the pricing was going to be. It was also really hot in there. I'm a little flushed. Um, but guys, the state sales are always so hard to film. I'm like, what did I film? What was captured? I'm a little bit out of breath. I was looking around two giant bags. I got a steal. A hundred percent got a steal. It's been a long time since I've gone to an estate sale and it was like a digger sale and I found stuff hidden and I got it for a good price. Um, Sometimes you just got to go and see what's out there. I mean, it's a little bit of a drive, but it was totally worth it. I can't wait to show you guys and Janine what I got, a few surprises. Oh my goodness. It was great because I went to an estate sale by them like a month or so ago and it was like pretty overpriced. Um, so I was really surprised with with the deal I got today. Um, I'm going to lay everything out and show you guys in the haul. So stick around. You're not going to want to miss what I picked up. And a good amount of it's going to be available on whatnot because a lot of the stuff, uh, we have a lot of already, but I love picking it up. It's so fun to find. So, so stay tuned. We're going to show you guys the haul. Okay, guys, it's actually been a while. A week, two, two weeks. Has it been that long? I don't actually think it's only Can't been a week. Can't keep track of time. Oh, it feels like a while, um, but 
I have the haul with me right here. Janine has seen a little bit of this. I couldn't help myself. I had to show her a thing or two, but she yeah. hasn't seen it all. And I don't know if I mentioned, but I paid $50. It's also kind of hard not to see that. <laughs> this is the reason why I went. I saw this at the top of that cabinet and I got it. I got there like maybe 20 minutes after the sale had started. Um, and I was surprised to see this there. And you know, the thing, like I said, through the footage is that this um, wasn't really advertised as a holiday sale. I had no idea. This was the only piece of holiday that I really saw in the listing. And I just started opening boxes in the general area that I found this in. And I came across some really amazing hidden away finds. I think the reason why I got such a good score too was because I don't think this estate sale company was super knowledgeable about vintage holiday. They didn't quite know everything that I had picked up. Um, so I think that was part of the reason why I got a pretty good score when you see some of the things in this bag. So yes, the main reason I went was for this Halloween popcorn. These are made of plastic. They were popular from like, I think the 70s maybe through to the 90s. Um, and actually, I know this is gonna sound crazy, but we're actually having another Halloween sale That's next actually Friday. Wild. It's wild, but it's actually a whatnot sponsored sale. So whatnot reached out to us is they wanted to see if we were interested in a Halloween specific sale. And it's, we said, of course we are because we got some more to pass along. So if you guys are interested in that sale, it is listed on our whatnot profile right now. It's going to be August 25th. I believe we're doing 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern on that Friday. Um, and we hope to see you guys there. We're gonna have some really fun stuff and there's gonna be a lot of other sellers too doing Halloween. So it's going to be a really fun time. And I think I might have this popcorn during that sale. It's a great piece. It's probably from like the 80s or the 90s and it's in really good condition. Okay guys, here's the Halloween stuff. And this is a great little haul. A lot of it is 90s. So we have of course the 90s Shrieking Ghost. He is in here. We haven't tested these out, but look, Janine, I mean, how nostalgic. Oh my goodness. So fun. These are getting pretty collectibles, 80s and 90s Halloween. Almost just as collectible as some of the, you know, more vintage stuff from the 60s and 70s. So I was so excited to come across a number of 90s Halloween pieces. This being one of them, there was also this witch windsock, which is so fun. Um, from 1992. I love that. Amazing to think that these things are vintage and a lot of the times we get comments like that's you're calling you know something from the 90s vintage and yeah technically anything over 20 years old is vintage. So we're at the point where something from the year 2000 is considered vintage. Can you believe that? Yeah that is wild. Oh my goodness I love that windsock. She is so cool. She's got a great face and I also love when we come across these and they're with the original packaging. Yeah someone um, stored them well yeah they're stored well it's fun to see the packaging and she is just so cool she probably laughs or does some spooky sound because she she's cool have she's really of... she's in good condition yeah they're all in really good condition sometimes you know when things have been outside like wind socks mm. and some of those like sonic ghosts and stuff like that like the elements really have done their number on them but i don't think this was really used too often yeah, especially with this material, it tends to fade, mm -hmm. but she looks great. And this was really fun to see. Got two of these little Halloween ghost candle holders. Um, this They're one so didn't have the box and this one does. How cute is that? This is also older. You can see on the bottom of the box, it says um, Taiwan Republic of China. So this is probably from the, I don't know what, early 90s cute pieces for sure and then i really love this pumpkin house i love the packaging of this pumpkin house it is so cool and fun look at that little pumpkin border i was going to say janine like the packaging on this is so good it is from 1996 um and it's in here there is a pumpkin house i don't know which one it is though this one shows a little cat but i'm not sure if that's the one that's actually inside of here so here's the outside little pumpkin house a ghost with a chicken? <laughs> what? Have you ever? That's really cute. That's the most fantastic thing I've ever seen in my life. I mean, and it's a little house, right? It's like, a little it's... house and it opens and closes and whoever, whatever artist or person who worked at this company thought that the ghost should be holding a chicken, I applaud them. <laughs> great decision. I think that's fantastic. Um, so this is really cute. A great find. Now these are pretty collectible. They don't resell for a ton of money, but there's definitely a market out there um, of people like us who collect, you know, 
Halloween from the 80s and 90s because it's just so nostalgic. I forgot to pull this for the haul, but I did want to mention that I picked up this witch because it reminded me at the estate sale. I was like, Janine has something very similar. And we have been trying to figure out what this is for a while. Right, Janine? How long? Like a year? Yeah, I tried Google Lens. I couldn't figure it out. There's no markings on it. They're, they're, uh, the original sticker has been taken off of it. So there's no way to tell what it is. This was a mystery. And when I saw her at the sale, I said, she looks real familiar. And look at this. She has a sticker. The mystery has been solved. These are from 2007, Department 56. They must have lit up and made some noise, but neither of these do that anymore. But I'm happy that we solved the mystery. Yeah, and I'm happy that my Frankenstein now has a witch friend. And I also couldn't leave these out of the hall. These made in Taiwan yellow skeleton earrings. These are so cool. They're probably from the 90s or 80s. They're pretty collectible on eBay. Um, their little diamond eyes are so cool. Um, and I was so excited to find these at the sale. What a cool pickup. I found more um, parachute material Halloween plush. Love them. I think they originally were attached to maybe some candy packages or containers with their mm. little suspenders. I love this little Frankenstein. How cute is he? He is fun. So these are all vintage from the 90s. Actually, they have dates on them. This one's from 1994. These are really cool, Laura. They're um, originally cards, Halloween cards, mm -hmm. and they fold out to be like little Halloween banners almost, right? Yeah, they were definitely cards. They were written on and used and displayed with, but very fun they almost act as die cuts which is really cool mm -hmm. when i picked these out of a box at the estate sale i had no idea what they were i was like oh cool pumpkin planters like they look really cool yeah. um and i didn't realize that they're actually hager wow and this one goes for about forty dollars on ebay incredible i couldn't believe it i mean it's a really cute planter but yeah. hager pottery has a lot of you know collectability it is resellable for sure especially this little pumpkin guy um so that was really fun and so while i was doing my research i was looking for this one whoa and i have not come across him on ebay wow look at those teeth he too is a hager he has his sticker right there on the back and um he's really cool i think he's pretty rare i cannot find him online if you guys want to do some sleuthing let me know but i bet a collector would really love this it it's is a really, really cool, cool piece yeah i mean yeah. look at that face wow it's amazing it is really amazing it does have a hairline crack along here but otherwise it's in really good condition and they look really cute together <laughs> um i'm unsure if i'm gonna put these on ebay i might put this one on ebay just because i really don't know too much about it um but very excited i'm glad i went with my gut i just picked them up because i mm -hmm. thought their faces were cool um and turns out they are hager jack-o-lantern planters so that is such a cool find wow awesome thank you look at that little santa doll can you believe what Moving into the Christmas, um, I didn't pick up a ton, but what I did pick up is pretty amazing. Um, this is a Harold Gale Santa doll. These are very collectible. This one's in fantastic condition. It was just wrapped up in a plastic bag. It's pristine, I'd say. Um, look at its little face. These were popular dolls in the 60s. And they're pretty collectible, maybe just as collectible as a Rushton Santa. Maybe a little bit more common than a Rushton Santa, but definitely quintessential for a vintage Christmas. These in themselves can go for $50 to $60, so that's why nice. I was so excited about the deal that I got on this entire haul. And I was really excited about this little reindeer plush. She is so sweet, and what's unique and rare about her is you see a lot of reindeer plush, but a lot of them are, um, I guess, like a felted material and they're mm -hmm. stuffed with sawdust this is a true plush like stuffed animal mm -hmm. she's got you know a high pile material she's sewn like a real stuffed animal um and she's probably from she's the 60s cute. she's really cute she was stored like this in a bag so Aww. her head is going back but mm -hmm. i might have to keep this one look at her little antlers Aww. really sweet i was so happy to see her and save her 
Look at those two. Look at how cute they are. Um, this one's missing an ear. Might have to be a Janine project. <laughs> um, these are made in Japan. I believe they have their stickers. They do. They're so cute. They're I just adorable. love their big floppy ears. And they're actually pretty big. These like are their probably eyes. They're so cute. They yeah. look like a little like cartoon or something. Yeah. Um, these are probably from the 60s, early 70s. And uh, I just found them in a box. I couldn't <laughs> believe it. There's a lot of newer stuff at the sale. So I don't have a ton of footage because a lot of it, I was just like digging through just like new Christmas from the 90s and 2000s. But there were definitely some hidden gems. I also found these two really nice pieces. I would say they are more common both of them you find a lot of these cone angels um but these both have characteristics that make them a little bit rarer and unique than your typical cone doll angel what i was do you gonna think about say this she, one, she looks like a space space angel yeah right it's, totally it's that color and material the shiny pink that's what's unique about this one she is made in japan she has her sticker right there so even though she's pretty common she might be Quote, worth a little bit more because she's hot pink sparkly and just so different same goes with this one you see a lot of holly berry garland but not a lot of them with little reindeers on them they are cute too aren't they so that's the reason why i picked up this set as well how exciting of course to walk away from the state sale with a vintage christmas ceramic uh, i think she marked this for five dollars or something wow um and this is a vintage Santa Bank. More common, one of the most common vintage Christmas ceramics, but it is truly vintage from probably the 60s. Um, there's the slot for the bank. And it's called a spaghetti Santa Bank because this material right here is called spaghetti, sort of the way it was molded. Looks a bit like spaghetti. And it does have its original sticker. It's not a Napco. I don't know what brand that is, but mm. it's definitely from the mid-century. So I was so excited to find this you guys know me i love my vintage christmas ceramics and this is a really nice piece and it's a cute one too yeah and he's in great condition all of his red paint is there so this was a really exciting pickup what do you think janine i think I you did really well thank you. you found some really fun stuff and look at that little santa it was really exciting again it was a great score found some hidden stuff it was a fun time and i'm glad i got to bring you guys along thank you so much for joining us see you next time bye, bye.